from the Flash's speed and lightning fast strikes to the Green Arrow's fantastic combat skills, every fan wants to know who'd win in a battle between both superheroes. We need you too. No, you don't. I'm not a cop anymore and I'm not a meta. So what am I doing here? Joe, no one is more important to this team, to this family than you. But I feel like it's hard to determine who'd come out on top. Both of these DC Comics heroes possess unique skills and abilities that would make for an interesting fight. But by analyzing past battles and comparing their skills and powers, I can come up with some insights on who might come out on top. Firstly, have the Flash and Green Arrow ever battled before? The answer is yes. In the CW's Arrowverse, the Flash and Green Arrow have had several encounters over the year. In the second season of Arrow, Barry Allen's introduced as a forensic scientist from Central City who comes to Starling City to investigate a case. This is where Oliver Queen first meets him. And later on, Barry gains his powers and becomes The Flash. In season one of The Flash, fans see Barry and Oliver team up to take down a common enemy, and they've had a few crossovers since then. They've also had some friendly sparring sessions, but they've never had a full-on battle where they're trying to take each other down. But if they were to battle, who would win? The answer is not so clear-cut, unfortunately. The Flash is known for his speed, while Green Arrow's a skilled archer and fighter. The Flash can move so quickly that he can essentially freeze time, giving him a significant advantage in battle. He can dodge attacks and strike his opponents with lightning-fast punches and kicks, and that makes him pretty OP. But Green Arrow has an arsenal of arrows and gadgets at his disposal, as well as his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. He's also an expert strategist and can think on his feet in high-pressure situations. And every day I wrestle with whether or not I made the right decision, because maybe I didn't. And I saw an entire world wiped out of existence. In a battle, he would likely use his arrows to keep the Flash at a distance, taking advantage of his ranged attacks. One factor to consider is the Flash's vulnerability to ranged wind attacks, as seen in his battle against Weather Wizard. If Green Arrow were to use wind-based arrows, such as a Tornado Arrow or a Wind Shear Arrow, he could potentially slow down the Flash's movements or even knock him off balance. This could give Green Arrow an opening to strike. It's also worth noting that Green Arrow trained the Flash early on in the TV series. In season two of The Flash, we see the main character losing control of his powers and becoming disoriented. Green Arrow calmed him down and taught him how to control his ability. This could come into play in a battle, as Green Arrow might know the Flash's weaknesses better than anyone else. But in terms of their skills and powers, the Flash is obviously faster than Green Arrow, though Green Arrow has superior combat skills and a wider range of gadgets. The Flash's speed allows him to move at superhuman velocities and travel through time. He can even vibrate his molecules to phase through objects. But Green Arrow's accuracy with his arrows is unmatched. He's also skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as sword play. When it comes to fighting capabilities and understanding how to break down a situation under pressure, it's a tough call. The Flash has superhuman reflexes and can react to threats in a fraction of a second. He's also incredibly intelligent and can think quickly on his feet. Green Arrow, on the other hand, has years of experience as a vigilante and is used to dealing with high-pressure situations. He's also an expert strategist and can analyze a situation quickly to find the best course of action. In terms of past battles, fans haven't seen The Flash and Green Arrow go head-to-head -head in a full-on battle, though fans have seen both of them take on common enemies in crossovers. In the crossover event Crisis on Earth X, for example, the Flash and Green Arrow team up to take on the villains from Earth X. They work together seamlessly, and their complementary skills allow them to take down their enemies effectively. This suggests that they might work well together in a battle against a common enemy. Another example is their fight against the villainous Zoom in Season 2 of The Flash. In this battle, Green Arrow plays a supportive role, providing cover fire and distracting Zoom with his arrows. Meanwhile, The Flash uses his speed to try and take down Zoom. While they ultimately fail to defeat him in this battle, it highlights 
highlights how their different skills and abilities can be used together to create a formidable team. Ultimately, if the Flash and Green Arrow were to battle, it would likely come down to the circumstances of the fight. If Green Arrow can keep the Flash at a distance with his arrows and use his gadgets to slow him down, he could potentially gain the upper hand. On the other hand, if the Flash can close the gap and use his speed to his advantage, he could strike Green Arrow before he has a chance to react. A battle between the Flash and Green Arrow would be an interesting one to watch. Both heroes possess unique skills and abilities that would make for a challenging fight. While the Flash has the advantage of speed, Green Arrow has a wide range of gadgets and superior combat skill. Ultimately, it would likely come down to the circumstances of the fight and how well each hero can utilize their strengths to their advantage. To understand the characters a bit better, y'all need to know about the worlds they inhabit too. While both are part of the same franchise, the two series and the characters have their differences. The Flash and Arrow are two popular TV shows set in the DC Universe. While both shows have their own unique strengths and weaknesses, there's no clear answer as to which one's better. It ultimately comes down to personal preference and what type of show you enjoy. One of the main differences between the two shows is their tone. Arrow is a darker, grittier show with more intense and violent scenes. In contrast, The Flash has a more lighthearted tone with more humor and levity. If you prefer a show with more drama and action, Arrow might be the better choice for you. If you prefer a show with more humor and heart, The Flash might be more your speed. Though that's not all. Another difference is the focus of the show. Arrow primarily follows the story of Oliver Queen, a billionaire playboy who becomes a vigilante to save his city. The show is heavily focused on all Oliver's journey and his relationships with his friends and enemies. In contrast, The Flash focuses more on the world of superheroes and supervillains. The main character, Barry Allen, works alongside a team of other metahumans to save the city from various threats. Both shows have their own strengths when it comes to their characters. Arrow has a strong cast with complex characters and relationships. The show is also known for its strong female characters, including Felicity Smoke and Laurel Lance. The Flash, on the other hand, has a more lighthearted and charming cast of character. The show tends to focus on Barry's relationships with his friends and family. In terms of visual effects and action scenes, both shows are fairly equal. Both shows have impressive fight choreography and use special effects to bring their superhero powers to life. Ultimately, the choice between The Flash and Arrow comes down to personal preference. Both shows have their own unique strengths and weaknesses. It's up to the viewer to decide which one resonates with them more. So while I don't have a definitive answer as to who would win in a fight, I do know it'll be an amazing fight to watch. That's it from me on who'd win in a battle between The Flash and Green Arrow.